Hey, hey, 2NBA. Today I'm going to give you one of my old classic stories about when we played Orlando Magic versus the Boston Celtics. I had to go at Larry Bird during this game. Matt Gugas had already told me, hey, Michael, day before, you're going to get much playing time. I'm like, oh, cool. I know it wasn't Kel McHale I was going to guard, so it had to be Larry Bird. So I'm sitting on the bench, and I'm seeing Bird on misses like first six shots. And I'm like, yo, man, I hope I don't have to check in the game when he get fired. All of a sudden, as soon as I thought and said that, man, Matt Gugas called my number, and he told me I had to guard Larry Bird. As soon as I got in the game, it seemed like Larry Bird's eyes just lit up, and he just started licking his lip. And i like, damn. I got the guard. I see that killer look in his eye. So he gets the ball, man. They run 13. I remember this play clear as day. That's the one and the three man on the pick and roll. Larry Bird got the ball. He was talking like, Ansley, ooh, I'm going to tell you of the day. I needed you back in the game to get my confidence back up. So I'm saying to myself, F you. I'm going to shut you down, bro. I'm going to shut you down. I'm talking to him back. Man, he hit me with one dribble, pop, a three. Came back down court. They ran, man, they ran 13 again. I'm like, oh, they picking on me. They gonna pick on me all night. Man, Larry Bird, and I'm telling you, man, he is, he's slow, super slow. But he's so clever and so smart with that ball, man. And I'm trying to bang him and push him around and push him around and bang him. And man, he just, every time he shot, bam, that's another one, Ansley. Bam, that's another one, Ansley. Bam, all you were hollering. That's another one, Angela running down the court. And people don't know that he, Larry Bird is one of the biggest trash talkers there is in the game. Because that little mustache he got, you don't see his mouth moving. But quietly, as he getting that ball going to his triple threat on you, man, he talking to you, got you going all over. So I'm thinking about all my fans, all my people, my boys in the stage, what's going to happen. End of the game, man. Larry Bird don't drop 37 on me, man. I'm looking for Matt Googles to take me out. He don't left me in the game. I'm looking all sad and bad. I'm like, man, I just got killed by a legend. So I go home, you know, my boys looking at me crazy. They know not to say nothing because I'm, I'm, I'm already mad. I call my mom, ask my mom, mom, you see the game? She's like, yeah, baby. Larry Bird really put, did you in this game. But she, you know how your mom is. Mama always going to show you that love. Like, don't worry about it, baby. Don't worry about it, baby. Everything going to be all right. Man, the next day in, in practice, man, did you know that I went off? I took I, all my frustration the next day in practice, I took it out on everybody. I pretend I was Larry Bird in practice, man, I, and I learned, I learned from that legend. Basketball is not about how quick you is. Basketball is not about how fast you how how high you can jump. Basketball is 90% mental. That means having confidence in yourself. And from that whipping Larry Bird gave me during my career, I gave a lot of other people a lot of more whippings. So I just want to let all you know, stay with your idea. Basketball is 90% mental. You got to have a strong mind to play this game, baby, because you're going to have them ups and down days. See you soon.